seems like such a fun show. I mean, it's fun to watch. Uh, is it as fun to work on? Are there? And I heard an interview with Colin, and he just seemed like such a hilarious guy. Are you guys having fun? We do have. I mean, the cast really. The thing that makes it easy to do is the cast really does get along with one another. I mean, so that we can actually go in and have fun. You're not sort of worried about, well, like, I can't do this because of this person, I can't do that because yeah, like, this person. We don't need to worry about offending the ego of someone because yeah. we all are just pretty relaxed people in general. So yeah. It, it, yeah. it makes for just really good, a really good working atmosphere. Are you sci-fi fans yourselves? Do you have any favorite sci-fi films, TV series? It's funny, I, I, as, as much science fiction as I think I've done, um, I'm not necessarily sure that I'm a real sci-fi fan. I mean, I love, I love the idea of science fiction, um, especially things like... Terminator 2 because it is it's larger than what the actual story is um, and I think Eureka sort of affords the same idea on a couple of different levels because it's both comedy and drama it can be sometimes larger than what it actually is and, and so uh, I suppose since I work on the show I have to say that my favorite sci-fi is Eureka <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I'm a fan although I feel like when you come to a place like this and you see how much people love sci-fi and everything, they know everything about it and everything, I kind of feel like a Fairweather fan. Because I would never, you know, poo-poo it or say like, no, I don't want to watch that show. Because I often, I watch a lot. Of, I watch Battlestar Galactica and I grew up with Star Trek and everything, mm -hmm. but I couldn't say exactly what happened or exactly who each character was. Yeah. So we'll go with, I like my sci-fi, but I can't, I would be lying if I stood next to someone else and said, oh no, I love sci-fi, and then seeing how much it means to them. Yes. I mean, I guess, and my, uh, I was thinking as he was talking that my favorite sci-fi, I think, is Aliens. I think there's something about that, not, not the later ones, the very first one. I just think there's something, again, about that story that's larger than just the story itself. The idea that they created this sort of female uh, heroine um, and then sort of built the mythology out of that, I think, was pretty terrific. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite episode, Steve? Well, I guess I have to say um, mine hasn't shown yet. It's uh, I directed an episode this past season, oh, right. so uh, what it's called uh, "Have an Ice Day." So that I have to say that's my favorite. <laughs> I'm, yeah, mine just all blends in. Anything where I get to fly around or fall <laughs> or fall into crash pads or just do something, those are all fun episodes for me. And there's a lot of them coming up in these next ten episodes. Yeah, look, I think the last couple of ones we did, you fell from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, fell from the ceiling. I just randomly fell around back, flew away. I got stuck to a wall in one of them. It was, uh, I think that was happens. the same one. <laughs> yeah, you know, all the time. But you've got quite, I mean, your character's quite, a, you know, you're the fool guy. Yeah, and more or less. But, every, <laughs> yeah. but being the fool guy gets you into these situations which your mortality is on the line on more than one occasion. That's, is that quite a nice switch for you as an actor? It, yeah, it's kind of fun. For a while I was getting a bit like, okay, does, I'm always going to die every episode. Can there be one where I maybe don't? But now it's just, uh, I just get to have a lot of fun with it. Now that, you know, I almost die in exciting circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recognized much in the, in the street from your roles in Eureka? Well, I mean, I have to say, for me, it's it's Eureka for sure. But it's uh, um, the joke in uh, in our house is basically I've only ever done one movie, and that's T two, <laughs> um, because that's what most people say. Oh, you're that guy from T two, and then, yes, yes, right. Um, uh, but yeah, I get recognized a lot, especially for that movie. I, I whenever I do get recognized, it's more of a. Uh, have you ever seen the show Eureka? <laughs> it's like, yeah, and they're like, yeah. I'm, you kind of look like Fargo. I mean, like, the, it, sorry, I mean, I don't like mean you look, look, but, you know, yeah. and then I have to point out, <laughs> yes, I do play Fargo, and they're like, oh, well, I really like the show. <laughs> and then they walk away, yeah. That's, that's usually what happens. For the next season of Eureka, after this next batch of 10, so season four or such, can, where would you like to see it go, the show? You know, the, Obviously, that's a question we get a lot, and it's really hard to it's hard to project where the series might go. Um, uh, I would love to see it um, sort of get off the planet, maybe a little bit. Um, maybe we do something out in outer space, or or something, or just something, so we get off the world, or maybe we go to another dimension. Something, just something that that takes us otherworldly. The sort of out of Eureka, perhaps. Yeah, know. but or or maybe Eureka in a parallel universe somewhere that's just completely the same but absolutely different. Maybe even Eureka on the moon. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sure. Out of space, that's still in town. Yeah. We've got enough uh, 
Yeah. There's enough technology to do that, I think, with Probably. what we've got. Yeah. 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 I think that'd be interesting. I was saying to the Christine the other night that I wanted to do a show with where uh, Carter gets completely obsessed with a um, holographic game and then begins to lose perception as to which world is real, the hologram or Eureka. 